It's me, Nim Sony. Welcome back to another VR video. Today, I'm in the Hybrid Presence System Sample Demo 2. Now, on this video, I'm focusing mainly on the locomotion. I say mainly, I'm focusing entirely on the locomotion. Uh, you can see I'm holding leaves as, uh, as controllers. Uh, that's because I'm actually trying out doing some uh, multi-platforming on this as well. So it should work both on Oculus and on SteamVR in, all in the same files, so you, you don't need to have multiple versions this time around. Um, I'll go through the very easy calibration system. So this is a, a pretty simple thing that I, I figured out and it's a lot easier than having to type numbers and then we'll, I'll have a look at, the, at what the sample's showing. So welcome to the hybrid locomotion garden sample. Press the left menu button to start the height calibrator. That's the menu button, the only menu button on the Oculus controller or on the Vive controllers, it should be the main menu buttons. Um, do let me know if the controls are a bit broken on there and it's not following what it says on the screen. Uh, recenter, stand straight, press your menu button, click. That resets it. But then you touch one hand to the ground and then press the menu button again while touching the ground. And you can see, press it and it resets the ground perfectly to where your controller is. So now it's got your height as part of the system. Uh, this will give you the instructions on how to move. It does mention here you don't need to swing your hands. And that is something that I've seen quite often. Uh, like I said, this video, this, this demo is literally only for the locomotion. So let's have a look at how we move. Firstly, quite a nice uh, nice area that I built for this, uh, for this demo here. You can see I've written hybrid presence there. And the con controllers remain as leaves uh, because, you know, just for the fun of it. Anyways, so I'm walking around, pretty simple stuff. Left analog stick or touchpad to move. And you can see I don't have to physically move my body to move. But as I move my body, so if I go into a sort of walking feel, now I don't have to do any head bobbing or anything like that. Just sway nice and easy on the spot. And you can see it creates the motion as you sway, as if you're walking. So we're gonna walk over this here bridge. And you can see this is actually a physics bridge. As like I've said, I've been updating and working on the sort of the physics of the base locomotion system. So as you can see here, when I step from the left to the right, you can actually see me leaning the bridge to the left and right. And of course, when I jump, whoop, you can see how it gets pushed off the ground when I jump. And of course, when I land. So this is uh, based on the, the recent R mod sample, which is on the same download page. And you can see I'm just using some sample textures that I made. Pretty simple stuff, nice uh, sort of textures that makes no make no sense. I would really like to have some physics on everything, but I wanted to focus entirely on locomotion on this demo. So we're just gonna walk around, have a nice, very peaceful walk through this garden area. That's basically what I wanted to do is make a sort of peaceful area just to walk, just so you really get a feel of how much of a difference having a natural locomotion system works on just a VR environment, because that's basically what this is. It's pretty much a simple, basic environment that you'd find on, you know, your own Steam VR home maybe, and you could just walk around uh, or, or teleport around. And I wanted to show how walking just makes it really feel a little bit different. And of course, this locomotion, in order to run, you don't have to press any buttons or anything. The analog stick is handling which way I go, but as you sort of head bob slightly, you get into a run speed. And you can see that just by controlling that, I can very easily decide to move fast. So I'm walking through water right now and you'll actually notice something. When I go down under the water, I uh, messed around with some effects. Now I've been messing around with the sort of bloom effect and you'll notice that there is bloom. So if I look in the dark areas and then suddenly into the bright areas, you can see how the colors retone and you can see clearly that there's bloom coming from the sunlight there. Uh, but I best messed around a little bit with the bloom settings so that I don't have to add an additional effect to do this. Whew. And you can see that I'm using Bloom to create a sort of slight blur that feels incredible when you're in the headset. And you can hear, of course, the changes in the music and the audio that's coming from outside the water. And of course, when I go above, you can see the audio resets back to normal. So it's pretty cool. It feels quite nice. Um, I haven't added any swimming motion to this loco, so it's purely just the raw locomotion. Now, of course, I did make a demo before as well of this locomotion system. Um, and uh, that demo had a little bit more changes and, and sort of an extreme version of the locomotion to make it feel better. And there, were, there was, of course, a lot more mechanics to that because it was the physics hands demo as well. And you can see here, <laughs> as I stand on an object, they just sort of roll about quite easily. 
So I'm going to try and balance on this ball here. And you can see, in order to actually stay balanced, you sort of have to run while you're on top of them. Now the other thing as well, you can see that this, these objects, they are using the buoyancy as well. So this is all part of the basics, uh, sort of physics systems that I've been working on. Uh, and they just sort of work as part of the environment. Uh, and you can see this uh, cylinder here actually rolled away from the water over there, the waterfall. And it'll, it'll actually push the, the, the sort of cylinder along here. So this is more like a rolling log. Uh, this bridge you could see before does actually lean. So again, let's just have a nice walk over this. And there we go. And you can see it just drops. And of course we can walk along. Now let's just walk over this thing and have a look at this board here. Uh, because I've not yet until now mentioned in any of my videos uh, just a, a quick shout out to the Patreon uh, supporters. So I, I decided I wanted to do that. I'm going to just shout out the names now. So thanks very much to the Patreons, uh, patrons uh, on the Patreon site. Uh, Daniel Wood Wooded, Matthew Crenbeal, Alexander Schaefer. I believe that's how you pronounce that. I do apologize if I've pronounced it wrong. Andrew Brook. Nicholas Marslin, who I've worked with in the past on the Warped game, so please check that out if you haven't as well. Flopsy99, John Ski, I hope I spell, uh, pronounced that right as well. Drew Hemmerich, Peter Queen, David Ramos, Esmo, again, I hope I pronounced that right. Virtual Reality for All Inc. Now, there was a name attached to their email address, but I didn't want to say unless they wanted to uh, you know, be, be mentioned. Um, uh, let me know if you did want to be mentioned by name. Um, Chris Radik, I do hope I pronounced that right, and of course Marcel. And uh, that's our current patrons right now. Uh, I do apologize to any of the previous ones that might have removed their uh, Patreon pledges. Uh, you know, you've, you've helped me out, of course. Uh, and if I can find your names, then I will do and, and mention those in the next video as well. Uh, now this, again, it's a nice little physics bridge. So you can see it wobbles as I jump. And this is just, again, just to, 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 to make a little area that you can walk around and feel how this little locomotion works uh, in any sort of physic, physics-based area, regardless of whether it's physics or not, in fact, uh, the locomotion just feels so natural in the world. You can hear, of course, the audio changes as I go close to the waterfall. I hope you can hear me properly. Now these things, again, they're just physics moving objects. So you can see that it's swinging very slightly and I'm standing quite easily on it. And of course, as I walk, you can see I, I can lean quite easily. Now, when I jump off, as I jump in a direction, so this is based on the R mod sandbox again. If you saw that video, you'll know exactly what I mean here. As soon as I jump off, my feet kick off and that object gets pushed back again. So you can see that started swinging. And of course, I can just hop, hop along. Now, you may notice I'm sort of doing a little bit of a head bob motion when I jump. That's because as you do the head bob, you sort of burst forward as part of the locomotion system and it helps you jump into uh, in a direction. If I don't do that, then you just jump at the speed that you're walking. And uh, that's pretty much the whole sort of build here. You can, of course, stand on objects while they're floating. And again, that's physically based and you can see it just starts rolling. And that's quite realistic as, as to how quickly you would pretty much fall off these kinds of objects. Um, and that's pretty much the whole video as well. Uh, hopefully you, you have a little bit of fun and a little bit of a peaceful time walking around in this area. That's basically what I wanted to do. I wanted to give you the raw locomotion at very natural speeds. So you're not able to run like a, like a, like an insane, um, speedster. You're not, you're not Sonic in this, in this project. You're not the Flash and you're not jumping like in Halo, you know, at s s super heights or anything like that. It's just the pure raw locomotion with the original values and stuff that I, I built into it when I made it. Um, and this is um, this is sort of how it feels really. Uh, there's a slight drag when you're moving through water, but you won't feel it like it's water. It feels less like water and more like maybe a little bit of heavy wind <laughs> pointing in the wrong direction that you're going. And yeah, so that's pretty much the whole build. Hopefully you enjoy walking around this and just sort of have a nice time just being peaceful in, in this area, really. Uh, thanks very much for watching. And uh, next sample, hopefully I'll have the ragdoll systems in. And then you'll have locomotion, the ragdoll motion, and the ability to climb things and pick things up and all of that. I'll get some interactivity out and then hopefully we can get that into the sandbox as well. Thanks very much for watching. And uh, 
See you in the next video. Goodbye.